Hey everyone, today we are going to be looking at transformations. We're going to review the four different types. So if you look, some of these transformations are pretty similar. Looks like we're starting with the same original figure in each of them. We're going to have to pay close attention to the vertices to see exactly what is happening. So let's start with number one. So first of all, I notice I stay the same size, so that's not going to be a dilation. So was the congruence change or preserved? It was preserved. And then my vertices, it looks like I don't change the vertices at all. It stays D, E, F, G, and it looks like I just slid from D to D prime, from E to E prime, from G to G prime, and F to F prime. So my orientation was preserved as well the orientation of the figure because we didn't turn the figure and the orientation of the vertices was preserved. So this is a translation because we are just sliding. And from D to D prime, it looks like I just slid to the right. So this is going to be a translation right and let's count how much I move to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you wanted to count from F to F prime, it should be six as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there I just verified that this is a translation right six. So now I need the rule for this. So from D prime, or from D to D prime, D right here was at negative four, and then positive four, and then D prime over here is at two, positive four. So my Y values stayed the same, and it looks like my X values increased by six, which makes sense since I went right six. So my algebraic rule for this translation right six is going to be x plus six comma y. I added to the x values and the y values stayed the same. All right, let's look at number two. So my congruence was preserved. These are the same size. So it's not gonna be a dilation. And then it does not look like I just slid down um, because I don't have D to D prime here. So it's not going to be a translation. And then it doesn't look like it'll be a reflection either because based off of these vertices right here, I'm not just flipping. So this is going to be a rotation. And I know it's hard to tell, but the orientation of the figure did change, which we can see from the vertices. I turned D to D prime over here. It's facing a different direction. D and E are no longer on the top. D and E are on the side. So the orientation of the figure was changed. And then let's look at the orientation of the vertices. So if I trace the vertices clockwise, I go D, E, F, G. And then if I trace them on the transformed figure, I also go D, E, F, G. So the orientation of the vertices was preserved. So let's see if we can figure out what type of rotation this is. So here's the original, here's the new figure, and it, I'm gonna go counterclockwise because that's not gonna be as long. So if I go from original to new, counterclockwise, I just go through one quadrant, which is 90 degrees counterclockwise. So if you remember the rule for that, you can go ahead and write it down. We can also look at D and D prime to determine what the rule is. So D, just like the last figure, is at negative 4, 4. And D prime is at negative 4, negative 4. So... This one is a little bit difficult to see what the rule is because I have the same numbers, like I have four and four, if we're not looking at the signs. So let's actually use another one. Let's use E and E prime. Those have two different numbers, so maybe I'll be able to see the pattern a little bit easier. So E is at negative two, four, and then E prime is at negative four, negative two. Okay, now I can see this pattern a little bit easier. So the original x value went into the space of the y value. 
and then the original y value went into the space of the x value, but we changed the sign of it. So let's see if we can summarize that in a rule. I moved the y, sorry, I moved the x into the original y spot. This was the original x, I moved it here. And then the original y value, I moved it to the x spot, but I changed the sign of it. So the rule for rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise is opposite y, x. Okay, let's look at number three. So the congruence was preserved. We did not change the size. So this is not going to be a dilation. And then it looks like I am just flipping over this line of reflection here. I can tell based on the vertices. It's just flipping over the y axis. So this is a reflection over the y axis. Okay, let's talk about the orientation of the figure. So I'm not facing the same way because I flipped it. And you can see that based on the vertices, they're kind of backwards. So the orientation of the figure has been changed. And then let's look at the orientation of the vertices. So if I go clockwise on the original figure, it is D, E, F, G. If I go clockwise on the new figure, it's G, F, D, G, F, E. So the orientation of the vertices was changed. And now I just need the algebraic rule for this. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use E and E prime. So E is at negative two, two. And sorry, negative two, four is E prime or E. And then E prime is at two, four. So it is the x value that changed sign. So our rule is opposite, x, y. Okay, then last one, the congruence was changed. From the original to new, I am getting bigger. So this is a dilation. And let's see if we can find the scale factor. So careful here because e, well, this E is on a whole um, point, an integer point right there. But if you look at our E prime, F prime, and G prime, they are not on a integer point. So like we would have to guess what point that is. But this one right here, I don't have to guess. I can see that that is at negative seven, seven. And the original D was at negative four, four. So that's what we want to use to find the scale factor. The original D was at negative four, four, and D prime is at negative seven, seven. So now when I do new over original, I know exactly what numbers I'm working with. I'm gonna use the Y values here, and it would be seven over four. So this transformation is a dilation with a scale factor of seven, Fourths. So that means that our algebraic rule is 7 fourths x, 7 fourths y. Our orientation, we did not turn the figure at all, so both of the orientations are preserved.